Hello, I'm David Eddington. I'm a professor of linguistics at Brigham Young University. Today I'll be showing you how to do a mixed effects logistic regression with random effects for participant and test item. This is a pretty common uh, analysis to do in linguistics, especially nowadays, and I want to show you that it's not a hard thing to do. And one reason for that is I'm going to show you how to do it using Jamovi, which is a free app. It works on Macs, PCs, and Linux. It's simple, and you can download it at jamovi.org. So the data I'm going to analyze today is a study I did where we were interested in how people syllabify words with two medial consonants. For example, words like restore with the uh, medial consonant ST, did they syllabify it as re-store or restore? And we looked at a couple different variables, but our dependent variable is binary. Basically, did people either put both consonants in the second syllable or only one? Our independent variables were stress, whether the first or second syllable had the uh, primary stress, whether the first vowel was tense or lax, and whether the medial consonant cluster was legal. What I mean by that was, could it begin a word like ST and end a word like ST, or could it only end a word as MP or only begin a word like TRA? We also looked at uh, method of elicitation, and the purpose of our study was to see if different methods of elicitation resulted in different uh, syllabifications. One method was slash insertion, where people saw two different versions of the word and chose the one with the uh, slash in the place that they felt it belonged. Another method was to ask people what the first part of restore was, and they could answer either re or res. And we looked at several other methods also. So here's what the data look like in Jamobi. The best way to interface with Jamobi is to save your data in comma separated value format. And Jamobi ends up looking like a spreadsheet. Now there is one kind of thing that bothers me about Jamobi is sometimes the variables aren't marked correctly. For example, participant and word both need to be identified as nominal variables, but it's not too hard to change it. All you need to do is right click on the variable name and it brings up this menu. If you click setup, it lets you change ID to either nominal, ordinal, or continuous. Okay, so basically you're almost ready to run the analysis in Jamobi. There's one more thing that's needed and that is the module that uh, runs mixed effects. So if you go all the way to the top right hand corner of Jamobi, you'll see this X. If you click on it, it shows you Jamobi library. You need to scroll down and choose and install Gamel J. And now you're ready to run a mixed effects logistic regression. The way to do that is to choose linear models here and then generalized mixed models. And this is a fairly standard interface. You put the dependent variable in the dependent variable box. All categorical variables go in the factors box. I don't have any continuous variables, but any continuous variables would go in the covariates box. And then the random effects, participant and word, go in the clusters variable box. Now, now Jamovi automatically puts in all now Jamovi automatically puts in all interaction effects. Now Jamovi Jamovi automatically puts all interactions in the model terms box and you can make new interactions by highlighting any of the components clicking on this arrow and choosing two way or you can move any interactions you don't want back into the components box. Okay, random intercepts actually need to be random intercepts have to be random intercepts also have to be specified in the random effects drop down box and moved from the components box to the random coefficients box. Although I don't have age as a variable in this analysis, whenever you have a continuous variable, it's highly recommended that you standardize it. And to do that, all you have to do is choose standardize. If you don't do that, sometimes it will make the analysis take longer to run or result in uh, errors. And be patient, it may take a long time to get results. Mixed effect models are very computationally intensive and may take sometimes hours to run. All right, here's part of the results you get 
One important thing is to look down here and make sure that your model has converged and has no errors. Jamovi will output p-values, but they are not accurate if the model hasn't converged or if you have other errors, which usually mean you have to uh, modify your data somehow. Okay, another nice thing is that uh, Jamovi gives you the marginal R-square and the conditional R-square. The marginal R-square here tells us that 61% of the variance is due to the fixed effects, that is the independent variables in the model. The conditional R-square tells you the total amount of variance the model explains, that is, the variance of the fixed effects plus the variance accounted for by the random effects. So if you subtract 613 from 830, you find that 20% of the variance is due to the random effects of participant and test item. Here are the main and interaction results. Uh, what's nice about Jamovi is you can right click on this table and it can be copied and pasted into your document. And here are the results of the post hoc analyses. I hope that in this short presentation I've shown you how easy it is to run a mixed effects logistic regression in Jamovi.